What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, you guys know I take a lot of inspiration for videos nowadays on common questions I see asked on Reddit, Discord, YouTube comments, I try to pick some stuff that we haven't talked about in a while, and need to share information with players, and today what I've seen a kind of a big wave of is newer players wondering, when do actual, like, holiday and skins like that come back around, because as you know, when the Skin first comes out, it's usually part of like a 50, 70, $100 pack, somewhere in that ballpark, usually during special events, lately during like Transcend Zero events or holidays. Uh, but after that, how do you actually get them? And there's really only like one or two other ways to acquire these if you're not wanting to spend money and go purely a free to play route. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's talk about how you get those festival slash holiday skins. So if you're wondering what skin specifically we're talking about, if you actually come in here and you can actually look at the skin types, whether they are, you know, a certain festival, something like that, what we can do is we can pick like all the ones that are essentially tied to an actual event. And you'll notice they have a special little icon in the top right hand corner. These mean they are festival skins and there's only a couple ways to get these. Uh, number one, of course, like we said, they are sometimes in packs when they first release, but after their first release, there's usually not a way to like purchase them, even if you are a spender in the game. Uh, if you do miss out on one of these skins, the best and easiest way is when a special event does roll around, occasionally like we saw with the mid-autumn festival uh there will be a special shop that you can purchase previous skins from that holiday regular heroes and transcendence heroes uh so if we actually go back into the skins real quick here we just had the mid-autumn festival you could essentially snag any of these skins during that event minus of course like for example the floating moon one because this is the one that just came out for therapist of blood betty next time mid-autumn comes around she will be in there as a possible option in the swap shop and usually you can get those completely free to play they're usually like a hundred of that event currency but it's very easy to get that sometimes with only even gems. And this is why we say save up a ton of gems for the big holiday festival type things. That's going to be the best way to get it. Uh, the second way you can get it is actually from the marketplace here. So if we come down to here into the skin shop, DH Games has recently added festival skins to this you'll notice a skins cost 100 a piece uh, but when you come over to the 120 cost ones these are typically the ones that are tied to a festival i think sometimes like this one i think is yeah still spring festival but it's like an older one i think it was like a chinese new year one uh so they only cost 100 most of the transcendence hero version ones are going to cost 120 however it does take a bit to accumulate those because even if you enter ace with your guild uh these ace vouchers if you're not going very far you're only going to get 20 of them per month which means you're going to need literally like half of a year in order to save up enough of those vouchers for one skin again not really a great sound plan and beyond that you cannot get festival skins if you take a look from the glorious temple shop none of the skins are in here these are all the regular skins that you can find in the limited chest there's nothing special about the ones in here in reality you should never be spending relics glorious relics for this type of stuff it's just not a smart play so of course we have festival events that are always a great way a skin vouchers and there's really one other main way i highly recommend not doing this but if you've ever visited the skin list you'll notice there's a fuse and replace in the top right hand corner of course you can forge them once you get five regular versions of skins you can turn one of them or turn those five into a limited skin uh, and you can see the preview of the different skins that you might possibly get it's essentially just all the same limited ones you can get from the chest mostly uh, but there is a replace feature and again i highly recommend you don't do this but it is a feature so we will go over it so it says here you can replace skins in the left pool for skins of the same quality tap the right pool to select the skin you want you need to consume three limited skins to replace a limited skin or a legendary skin and one legendary skin to replace a festival limited or festival legendary skin 
A skins can be used for replacement or as consumables, but cannot be replaced with festival skins. Festival skins can only be acquired through festival skins, and they update this every once in a while. So just for example, we will show you here. We have one of these festival skins right here from the Mid-Autumn Festival that we recently had. This is the old Vesa from last year. And you'll notice you can swap to regular skins. I recommend you don't do that. Or the holiday slash festival ones. You can tell once again by this icon in the top corner. Uh, in reality, what you should be, if you are ever going to do this, I would highly recommend you're using like a non-transcendent skin, honestly. Something like you know, like in a no scare or something that you're not really using and then filtering by transcendence and kind of deciding what you can put in on the other side. You'll see here, this is where you need to fodder off three extra ones here. Again, highly recommend that you don't do that. But because we put her in here, we can actually swap to a ton of different transcendent skins you can see the christmas skins from vulcan uh pretty much everything that you would want from festival skins just be careful not to like you know pick a non-festival one like this vesta copy that's something you can get in the limited chest uh and they did recently add a few more of them one of them i think was lord of fear aspen uh you got finally doom terminator vulcan and i think elena as time goes on and more updates happen, we'll get more skins in here. We'll be able to swap for just for say, like for example, the Betty skin we just most recently had. Eventually that will get added to this location, uh, but it won't be very soon. And again, one other thing, if you want to do this type of swap, a legendary uh, special one to a legendary special, you are going to have to fodder off another legendary, whatever quality, it doesn't matter if it's festival or not, but you are essentially sacrificing, what is that, like six skins, six limited skins together to make a legendary in order to do this swap. So just remember... There is an additional cost of that. There is a minor side downside of this too, is that by doing that, what you're also going to be doing in your, uh, which one is it? Is it this one down here, I think? No, it's, it's the top one, right? Yeah, skin gallery. Uh, so you might be lowering your overall score, losing some fixed HP and fixed attack. It's not a huge amount, but if you are in the earlier game, that might be one of the few ways you are actually getting fixed attack and stats like that. So just be aware if you do that type of swap and you're losing one of these skins, that is gonna lower the total amount. That's also gonna affect if it, you were using it. Like for example, we have this bond giving us an additional six points, which gives us more levels. Uh, you will lose it if you don't currently have that skin. So if you're sacrificing it, just beware. That is something that might happen. So let me know what you guys think. I wanted to make sure we covered uh, the special festival skins and such. So just be warned. Those are the ways for you to acquire them. That's why I say always save a ton of gems up and currencies for events up because you might be able to get a few Occasionally, there's also like an event swap event where we do something similar to the skin one where you don't have to sacrifice extra skins. But again, just keep saving up. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. We'll get to them either in a quick answer or maybe a video in the future and we'll credit you as the source. See you guys next time.